Okay, sorry I got cut off. I'm going to keep this rolling. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be upside down or what. I hope not. Okay, I got cut off. Phone call came. So, uh, Rhino, it's like, why did they throw... This guy was basically, in the beginning, went from just trying to steal some stuff, going fast in a truck. He got caught like that by Spider-Man. It was so easy. Why is he in such an insanely guarded facility and they picked him he's the one to be the rhino is it because he was kind of dumb i don't know the rhino get dude you you can make hulk and you can make this guy and you can make all these movies where it looks awesome like someone's mutated and changed dude you could make but we, we got we need to put a modern twist on it where it looks it looks kind of dark and, and gr gritty looking and not so comic book cartoony, even though we put a blue fish man on the screen. So, okay, if you, I just say that, if you could have a blue fish man eel hitting music video montages during fight scenes and spend so much money, you could spend, I mean, Rhino at the end had what, like five minutes tops and he's in a stupid Iron Man suit. Come, let him be humongous let him have a mutated like you obviously can see that they grafted his dna with a freaking rhino let him look dark and beast like and just big trashing throwing cars doing all kinds of stuff why does he need machine guns and uh, they ruined rhino for me i'm the rhino it's just it was silly it was like i didn't take it seriously I didn't. If they made him just rhino rific, like, like hardcore, hardcore looking, you know, like to where he's just huge Hulk status. Just you could just tell he's angry. He wants to get back at Spider Man. It could have been cool. It could have been just. It could have fit right in the budget. Why? Why, why, why? I mean, all the, the full armor was CGI anyway. Why can't they just CGI him as a giant rhino? And it's like, we don't want him just standing there in the street with a face off against a five-year-old kid. Take the scene out. You got rid of Mary Jane. You know, the, there's going to be a couple Mary Jane scenes. You get rid of those. Let's get rid of the kid scene at the end. And let's have rhino smashing cars. Like, because he's so huge, like, smashing cars and clapping cars together, trashing the place, bringing out Spider-Man. Or, you can tell I'm, I'm a little heated about this. Yeah, I'm, the montage is again. I'm not going to become politically incorrect, but, dude, the fruit was in the basket. We got fruit, fruit, fruit. It was fruity. <sighs> Uh, the cliffhanger at the end of the credits. Well, we ran out of Spider-Man, but let's put some X-Men shots in there. I don't know. Uh, Harry and Peter. The chemistry almost seemed kind of flirty. Can someone give me a bump on that? It seemed a little flirty. It was just weird. So I don't know. customer just walked by I thought I was nuts because I'm talking they can't see the camera but yeah the Peter and Harry it was kind of fruity kind of kind of flirty like mm, like what the fudge dude that's my review obviously I didn't like it I wasn't very pumped on it I will never see it again unless my kids want to see it for what but by that time they're they're two three so by that time we'll have a whole new arc and maybe Maybe RK will get a chance to do something, but God, dude, you guys blew it. Blue eel. He should have been at the end. Why don't you bring Electro in at the very end? Instead of Rhino, he would have been cheaper. You could have just got a, a bald guy. If you're going to go with the ultimate, you, I mean, go bald guy. Put a weird scar. I mean, don't put the big like electric bolts on his face, but I mean, put the scar on it. Put a scar on his face. Where he looks kind of jagged, but it's like of that, the electricity bolts, you know, but it's like a crazy scar. You could have done a good job on Electro by just bringing him in at the end and having him be the experiment that 
whoever like starts to begin with the Sinister Six. The vulture, the vulture wings, Doc Ock arms following it. Like, very cool. Very cool. But, I mean, what did that scene cost? And it was this long. You know, it's like the cool stuff. Hey, they put Felicia Hardy in there. That was cool. Uh, I mean, the little things like that that cost nothing is the cool. You could have had a cut, like one quick brief moment with a Mary Jane. Not flirty or nothing, but just get a Mary Jane in there. People would have been talking about it. That would have been, I mean, would have cost hardly anything. Get rid of the Rhino. Put Electro at the very end. Emphasize Norman Osborn. Is, I mean, why does Harry kill Gwen? It's supposed to be a get with Norman Osborn. He is the father of all these, this crazy world. Put him in there and then have Harry. God, this guy keeps hitting me up here. I'm tapping, leaving messages. But, <sighs> Electro, why? The first movie was good because it was Lizard. They just did Lizard only. This is what makes a good superhero movie. One hero, one love to protect, one family or whatever, and then one villain. That's it. Just one villain. If you do the Sinister Six, they're one force, but they're there and they're together, they're planning. They're fighting together all at the same time. That's one entity fighting Spider-Man. You had this, you had that, you had this, you had... This. It's just Spider-Man 3 again. It's Spider-Man 3. Yeah, but in Peter's web, you did all kinds of stuff. It's because I was trying to throw together all the guys I like. I knew I was just doing it as a fan. I knew it wasn't a, a single... But look at the first issue. The first episode I did, it was, it was comic book. Norman Osborn, the build-up. Threw some maybe bullseye in here, but it was a foundation of what makes a good superhero movie. You should have just focused on Norman, thrown Mary Jane into the mix a little bit. Not even as Peter's friend, maybe as Gwen's friend, because they were friends. I don't know. I'm done. This has been part two. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Never going to see it again. They blew it! And... Uh, yeah, that's all I can think of right now. Have a nice day. Bye. If you're mad at me because you thought this was the best movie ever, it is what it is, man. I'm just giving my opinion. You can, I mean, don't even bother. Like, if you want to mess with me, yeah, but this and that look, dude. I, whatever. I don't, I'm not going to argue with anyone. This is how I feel. I know Spider-Man. I know what it could have been. Bye.